Yo, what is up my beautiful people? I have replaced a lot of handheld SSDs in my day, but the One X Player X1 may be the biggest fail I've experienced yet. No, let me just show you the catastrophic failure that is the glass back pieces on the One X Player X1. As you can see here, this was my first attempt at replacing the, the back glass panels on the X1 and let's just say it didn't go too well <laughs> so i ran out of my way and i bought some replacements i actually bought four replacements just in case in the future there's ever another catastrophic failure but today i'm going to show you how to replace the back panels and get to the ssd on the x1 without you know catastrophic failure now i just want to start off by saying that one x player did not do a good job at showcasing how to get into the back of the X1. They posted a video on their channel um, opening and disassembling the um, One X Player X1 pretty much all the way down to like the, the motherboard, but they gloss over what I believe to be one of the most important parts, and that's getting off the glass back panel. So in the video, they pretty much just have a blade and then they go around the edge and pull it off. Only like a few seconds that is shown, you know, to take that back piece off. So I go into it under the impression that I just need a blade and just be careful. And that's exactly what I did. I had the blade. I was being very careful, prying up the edges. And then I got like one millimeter into the actual uh, back piece and it just shattered immediately and i was like hold up i was being very careful taking my time because i'm trying not to break it and i'm following the video and the thing just shattered because i didn't know that there was a whole bunch of adhesive on the back here i figured it'd be a little bit so i did have my uh, my heat gun heated it up a little bit as you usually would but you guys it was just much more like adhesive and i can show you the back here if you look at this like um 3m tape here it's just covering all of the adhesive that is on the back here and it's a lot more than you would expect now it's on me for underestimating <laughs> the procedure but i feel like one x player could have did a better job on the video of you know explaining how to get in it um i think they just glossed over that part and they didn't even show like a heat gun and i'm 100 percent sure that they had to sort of heat this thing up or it didn't have adhesive on the version they were using because you definitely need to heat this thing up to get that uh, adhesive to be a little bit looser. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I already replaced the SSD in the X1, but I am gonna be showing you how to get inside of it and how to um, open it up to get to that SSD. And hopefully this can help somebody. So let's not waste any time, let's get into it. But definitely, you're definitely gonna want a heat gun. So if you don't have a heat gun or a blow dryer, I'm not even sure if a blow dryer gets hot enough because I had to crank the heat up on this thing. I'm not sure if a blow dryer gets hot enough. You can try it a blow dryer but you're gonna need something to get this thing very hot uncomfortably hot just to get that adhesive um softened up because it's, it is a lot of adhesive and you don't want to risk breaking this thing so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna heat it up and we're gonna see how long it takes to actually get in i'm not gonna speed this up because i want you guys to see how long this actually takes to get the back piece off here Okay, so we got the first one off. Now, disclaimer, I will say I've already taken this off, so the adhesive is already a little bit loose from the first time. It's gonna take much longer than that for the initial um, replacement of this piece here, but you are definitely gonna want to heat this thing up 
I'll just, just show you guys here all of the adhesive that's on the back here. As you can see, the adhesive kind of stuck on there, but there's a whole lot of adhesive on the back and you, you're gonna need to soften that up before you can get inside of this thing here. And I feel like that's something that one X player should have uh, disclosed in their video, but they just pretty much glossed over that and just showed them using a blade to open it. Um, no hate, but one X player, I feel like uh, you could have did a better job showcasing that, but we're gonna put the heat on the other side Get this one off. Okay, so we got the other panel off here, and here you can see the adhesive and the screws in there. Now, like I said, this is taking like, that took like maybe like one tenth or one fifth of the actual time it took the first time, because this adhesive is already pretty soft from the initial time I did that. But just keep in mind, you are going to need something to heat this up, like a heat gun or like a blow dryer, a hair dryer. I'm not even sure if a hair dryer is hot enough, but try it out if it's not coming up easily then you're gonna need a little bit more heat that's just a uh, 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 a, note, a note of caution here now to get it open we are going to need a screwdriver of course so i have my screwdriver uh, i'm just gonna get that and i'll show you where the screws actually are so on the back there are some screws on the back and then there's some screws on the bottom so the screws on the back there is a screw here and here and here on both sides so three screws on both on the both sides and then two screws on the bottom and i'll show you that there okay so we have all the screws off of the back now on the bottom you're not going to see the screws because they're actually under this little uh sticker here this is actually a sticker uh you're gonna want to just peel that up peel it up from the back you can use the blade to peel that up because it is pretty um sticky on the bottom so you peel up this sticker there's gonna be two screws on the back here so there's a screw here and then there's a screw uh here you're gonna need to unscrew those screws okay so now we have the two bottom screws off and now you need to pretty much pry up the um the back panel here so you're just gonna get like a pry tool or something to get under there and then you'll be able to get that back panel off. So I'm gonna get my pry tool and start prying. Okay, so you just wanna like get the back up a little bit so you can start on this edge here. So just get your pry tool, get it under there, get that under there, and then you're gonna wanna run it along the edge. There are some clips on the back here. So run that pry tool along the edge, watching out for the clips on the, on the bottom. So there are a bunch of clips on the bottom. You're just gonna wanna run it on the edge, prying up those clips. And then it's gonna, it, it may take a few attempts to get that up because it is pretty tight, but just work your way al along the edge, getting up those clips, trying to not, trying hard not to break it because you don't wanna break those clips because that's the only thing pretty really holding this back panel on. Okay, so once you get all those clips up, you can pretty much take the back panel off. There's nothing really on the back connecting it. There's no cables or anything like that. So just take the back panel up, set that to the side. Now, what inside now? Now getting to the SSD is pretty simple. There's just a little bit of um like thermal like tape here. And here is the SSD right there. That's the SSD we got in. The, the hard part is over. You can pretty much just unscrew this one screw that's holding the SSD in place. Unscrew that, the SSD pops up. Uh, as you can see here, SSD pops up and then you can pull it out. Here's the SSD, get your replacement and you are good to go. I mean, that, that's, that's it. Like once you get inside, the hard part is getting inside. Once you get inside, the SSD is like pretty much right there and your, your, your troubles are over. So I'm not gonna really um, go through the procedure of upgrading the SSD. I already, I've already did the, the cloning 
I'll leave a link to like a, a cloning tool that I use for the SSD replacement. I'll leave a link for that in the description. You're just gonna, you're just gonna clone the SSD as you usually would. Or you can start fresh, but I always clear my SSD just so I don't have to start over. Um, and then you put that back, put the new SSD inside, put that in, make sure you put in the screw and put in that screw. You're gonna wanna make sure that you uh, put that thermal tape down, right? And that's that's pretty much it. And and then once you get once you have like finished, if you if you order, I'll leave a link to these new back panels as well. Um, because if you order these, um, then you're gonna want to go put those on. Um, but if you're able to save your original panels, go ahead and put those back on. But be very careful. Um, if you're able to save these back panels, um, you're gonna want to use those. But if not, if you if you are sort of hesitant that you might break <laughs> the back panel. Go ahead and order the replacement before you even open it because you don't want to be walking around with a bunch of, of glass and that's going to be your back panel replacement. So if you're sort of hesitant, go ahead and uh, order of, um, one of these back panels. I'm not sponsored. I don't get any sort of you know commission on selling these back panels. I wish that we didn't need them. It's kind of like weird that they put glass on the back. Uh, I don't know. That's just weird to me. I don't know if they wanted to see more premium. But in the future, can we not put glass on the back of our uh, our handheld PCs, please? This is like a message to one X player. If you're watching this, can we please not put glass on the back of our handhelds? <laughs> I don't know if I'm, if I'm asking for too much. Let me know if a comment. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm asking for too much. But I feel like we shouldn't have to deal with like glass on the back of our handheld PCs. I don't know. That's just me. But I mean, I guess it, it, it adds to a more premium experience. But hey. But anyway, <laughs> make sure you leave a comment down below if this was helpful. Um, this was more of a cautionary tale and demonstration. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, like, subscribe, ring that bell, all that great YouTube stuff. And let me know if um, you were able to get into the back of your X1 without a catastrophic failure like me. Um, and let me know if I'm the only one that really um, took one for the team there. But anyway, you're gonna need a heat gun, so make sure you get that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. We got glass on our handhelds now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in the uh, next one. Peace.